And welcome back to Friday Night Lights, brought to you by Isabella Bank. We've got the Delta College Play of the Night coming up. You know, Scott, one team from our viewing area that's really not getting love across none. the state is Getting Flint none. Hamity. They're not in the rankings 5-0. and oh, They beat Swartz Creek last week, and they're hungry against Goodrich tonight. Pick it up here on the kickoff, and check this out here. Is Allie Brewster's going to grab it here, and he's going to get behind his blockers, a little shake, a little bake. That's a couple trockable smoothies. Smooth moves right there, and he's going to be live. God, as it goes in for the touchdown, 26-14 at the half in favor of the Hawks. Third quarter, Goodrich coming back at you. You know they would. Jacob Wagner here, and he's going to get in as he carries the, the whole load right there for a touchdown. And uh, that made it 26-21, but Hammony coming right back at you. Corvante Moore here, the pass to Allie Brewster for the touchdown. The Hawks win it 34-28. Meridian needs to win out to clinch a spot in the playoffs. They host Beaverton, who is all alone in first place in the Jack Pine Conference. First drive for the Mustangs. There's a fumble on the exchange, and it is recovered by Cameron Austin. So Beavers with great field position, and it wouldn't take him long to cash in. Kyle Cassidy. From two yards out, extra point would make it 7-0 Beaverton. Meridian would try to respond. Hunter Merillat wants to air it out deep to Ted Levere. And Levere comes down with it right in front of where I was standing in the end zone. Take a look at the replay. Outstanding concentration. And he got two feet in. You know, he only needs one. It's all Beaverton, though, from there. 28-7. Beavers take it. All right, North Branch taking on Richmond as we go out to the Blue Water Conference. And I haven't seen the Broncos in a while. They're 4 and 1 going in this game against a 4 and 1 Richmond team. And it's Christian Coy here. He gets the outside and he is going to get in for the touchdown. And they get a little two pointer on that, so they make it 8 0. But later on, Drake Dusky here comes up with the pick uh, right there. And then he's going to follow it up with a touchdown run of his own. North Branch all over Richmond tonight, 37 to nothing. All right, Nouvelle needed a win at St. Louis to keep their postseason plans alive. The Panthers coming in at two and three against the three and two Sharks. And it's not often we feature punts, but check this one out here. Michael Elman, 60 plus yards uh, down at the two yard line right there. That was wild. Then check this one out. St. Louis punts back and it's going to be Josh Kogalski here. Uh, a nice return. Um, for him as he kind of moves in between a couple of people, gets around here, and he's going to get deep in the Sharks' territory as he is finally brought down there just inside the 15. And, uh, and a touchdown here for Elman as he's going to sneak it in as, uh, well, kind of not really a sneak. He just kind of ran it in for the touchdown. Nouvelle picks up a big win, 32-20 to the final. Ithaca hosting St. Charles, and this is bad news for the Yellow Jackets. Brady Hesbrook was injured last week. He is out for the rest of the season with a knee injury, but... You know, you got a Smith as a backup quarterback. Travis and Jake were pretty good, and Peyton can sling it too. Peyton Smith to Zach Poff, 79 yards, make it 7 0 Ithaca early. Mike Pratt then grabs the botched snap, and he coughs it up as he's trying to get extra yards. It's recovered by Chance Risner, and that would lead to Smith pitching it to Braden Shaw, 17 yard touchdown. All Ithaca in this one, 56 0, the final. We got more coming up on the Isabella Bank uh, Friday Night Light Show. It's called the Delta College Play of the Night, and it's heading your way next.